Hello, my makers. Today, I just wanted to talk about the simple, easy tasks that we all need to be doing that mean so much. Checking in on our friends. Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Hi everybody, today I wanna to talk about just checking in on our friends and how that simple act is so important. And to be honest, I hadn't even thought about it for quite a while. When you know COVID came and I was first you know really aware that things were changing and people were working from home, I was really good about checking in on my friends. But then as just working from home and the isolation, just got to be you know more of the norm and we're in you know eight months now, it just, kind of didn't seem so important. And I was actually on a conference call. It was a, you know, a work-related conference call and uh, had was talking to somebody that I hadn't seen or really spoken to since the end of 2019. And COVID kind of kept us apart, but just kind of like saying, hey everybody, how's it going? And us going around the room um, when this friend and colleague uh, started talking about how she was doing, she really got emotional and was just talking about how she was handling it and how it was just really rough on her at first and how she really felt like she was still walking around in a little bit of a dream state. And like I said, she got emotional. And this is a person I would never think w would be like an emotional person. I was, you know, really surprised. So that really made me think like, gosh, I haven't like checked up on her in nine months. What a terrible, you know, friend and colleague I am. So I reached out to her and, you know, just sent her a simple email like, hey, I saw you got emotional. I hope you're doing okay. If you ever need to talk, I'm here for you. I know, you know, things are kind of stressful. Um, let's chat sometime. And about a day later, she sent me back a note just thanking me for checking in on her and how much she appreciated it, that she was, you know, doing okay. And, um, you know, she just appreciated it. And so, that just really made me think like, there's a bunch of emails I need to send out in the next day or two of friends that I need to check up on, you know, just check in, say hello, make sure they're doing okay, see if they need to talk about anything, you know, that I'm here for them because I haven't done it in a while. I've kind of let that slip as the normalcy of COVID kind of goes on. Um, and that's something I think is important to do just as, you know, just humans, uh, you know, just as people supporting people, but, you know, also just because mental health is just really something we need to be cognizant of and checking in on people. You know, we're coming in to the months where the weather's not as nice and seasonal depression kicks in. We're coming into the months of the holidays um, where depression kicks in and it usually has higher rates. And I think this year our holidays are gonna be really disrupted because of COVID and we're going to have more isolation, not the big family gatherings that we're used to. So it's really important and it just means so much and it takes so, you know, little time, you know, just a text, just an email. I think a lot of people in my circle are also moms who are dealing with autism or a child with a disability. So I always think that it's important that we check in on each other and support each other as well. You know, and it's funny, and we get emails and texts all day long, all day, every day, especially now, it seems like we're getting more than ever because we're not seeing people face to face. But just something, you know, a small act of kindness like that could really just make somebody's day. And who doesn't want to know that they are thought of, that they're cared for, that they're kind of getting a virtual hug? Like that is just, you know, just something so small that we could do that could really make somebody's day be really helpful to them. And, you know, maybe if they do need to talk and they, they are feeling kind of isolated or they are feeling like they've got things that they need to talk about, you've opened the door and maybe they will take you up on the offer um, to talk and you can be somebody's support and you know you just never know what something so small how meaningful it could be and it really could help somebody out so it, it's a small gesture but I bet it can be really really powerful and I think that's something we should all just want to do in our lives especially right now is just give virtual hugs to people you never know who's gonna need one so just a reminder of checking in on your friends. It's meaningful, it'll mean a lot to somebody. You could really be helping somebody out. Just take the time and do something, reach out to your friend and be a good friend. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for supporting Life with a Side of Autism. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please like, subscribe and share. And thanks so much, my amigos. Bye.